Hello and welcome back to this video series on the Web Traffic Blueprint. Now I have to tell you that most of the videos in this series will be showing you how to create laser targeted traffic to your site. By that I mean bringing people with money to your message. Now when you have a mailing list you're kind of able to reverse that process and be able to take your message to the people. In this video you're going to learn about the phrase the money is in the list. The list referred to here is your mailing list. You can create and grow your mailing list with an autoresponder. An autoresponder is a piece of software or a service that generally when someone puts their name and email address in a designated space or boxes in order to retrieve something they are automatically responded to with the information or download based on the configuration of the autoresponder. You can do an online search for autoresponders and come up with several to select from, both paid and free services. Now keep this in mind, the phrase, you get what you pay for, was never so true than when referring to autoresponders. The free ones usually are very limited in their capabilities and will most likely post an advertisement of some kind within the emails to generate their income. Now this is not knocking the free services at all, it's just that for our purposes of wanting to generate long term traffic, using a free autoresponder is not even an option, so just get that thought out of your head. It makes you look a little on the cheap side of things and inexperienced. You only get one shot at a first impression. There are several quality autoresponder services and I've been using Aweber for a few years now so naturally they're the ones that I'm going to recommend. Now a couple other ones to keep in mind are called Get Response, Email Aces, and Auto Response Plus. These are just a few of the other ones, but you should do your homework before choosing your autoresponder. This could very well be one of the most important income generating tools in your online marketing toolbox. Or you can just go with one that I use. It's totally up to you. Now, of course, you can also ask some of your friends, do a Twitter, you know, whatever. A couple of things you will want in your autoresponder is, one, unlimited autoresponders, or mailings as they're also called, because you will need a separate one for each product or campaign that you have. And another thing is you want to be able to have a personalization feature. This adds the name or some kind of a tag, among other things, of the person receiving the response to the mailing without you having to type it in for each and every one. This is going to come in really handy when you get more than one or two people that you're emailing to. Whenever you get your list up around, oh, say, a thousand or in some cases 70 or a hundred thousand, this is just not even a, it's a no-brainer. So you want to have those personalization features in there as well. Now this is an email name capture form in its most basic sense. There's two boxes, one for the name, and it doesn't matter if it's the first and last or the first or whatever, ideally the real name, and then an email address, and here ideally their primary email address. And again, you can put verbiage in here requesting just that information. So what I suggest is after you've gone over this video, do some surfing on your own, especially if you've never come across one before. In other words, you're just brand new to this thing we call online marketing. Do some surfing around. Check out other people's what they call squeeze pages or other people's name email capture forms. See how they've got their structure. See what carrot they're offering, if you will. You know, what enticement are they providing you for you to be able to put your name and email address in here? A great one, a great example are these giveaways that pop up left and right throughout the year where by you simply providing your name and email address, you're able to then download this free product which in most cases has some value, it's just that to the giver of that free product, the value is getting your name and email address. Mainly because then they are able to, as I mentioned earlier, send you the message rather than trying to get you to come to them. And there's, again, as we're going to be talking about further on in this video series, that's going to be the gist of most traffic generation tools is to bring the people to the message is to bring the people to your website with an email list you're able to do just the opposite you're able to you've already got their name you've already got the people they're just hanging around waiting for you to send them a message and that's what this email capture form does so check it out go to several websites uh, just do some surfing whenever you got the time and see again the various forms in which others have their 
email capture forms set up and what offers they provide, what verbiage they have on their form to make you feel more comfortable in providing them with your name and email address and so on. So again, this is in its basic form. Now a couple other things I want to mention while we're here and to explain to you why this looks so dorky is that I wanted to go over with you the real estate part of a web page and that is you've got what is called the top fold. and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, well, you might be wondering, well, where the heck, now that I've got my form made, I've got my autoresponder, um, where do I, what's the best place to put this form, or where's the best place on my website to put this form? And that is the top left corner. I'm glad you asked. Because studies show that the human eye, whenever it's looking at an object or looking to read something, starts at the top left corner of something and goes from left to right, from top to bottom. And again, I'm being general here, but that is the case. Not everybody does the same thing. Uh, some folks start from right to left. Some folks start from top to bottom. It's just sometimes it's cultural related. Sometimes it's just the fact that that's how people are, you know, they like to get to the end of the story first. I don't know. But anyway, for the most part, my suggestion is, and most people's suggestion will be, top left corner of the web page or blog is where your email capture form should be. That is the prime piece of real estate on your web page. Now, why do I have this like this? Because if you notice over here on the, on the side, the scroll bar, this tells you that there's something down below. And that is the lower part of the web page. This top portion of the web page, as soon as somebody opens up your website, this, what's staring them in the face is called the top fold. That is the prime real estate, if you will, of your web page. Now, of that, the prime spot is the top left corner. So, keeping that in mind, you can have multiple email capture forms throughout your page. Nothing says you can't have them in the lower right hand corner or slapped right in the middle or top right, but you also want to have, at the very least, one email capture form top left. Okay, enough said. I also want to mention though that you only have so many seconds to be able to capture one's attention that is kind of just poking around the websites and they come across yours and they see, you know, whatever the heck this is here in your top fold. If you do not capture their attention with this, then you're not going to get them to go to the lower portion or the bottom folds of your website. So keep that in mind. That's why people put the big bold headings up here in their web pages. Um, this is why a lot of the attention grabbing takes place, the, the colors and whatnot in the top fold. That way they can get you to further on down the web page gets more of the message into your head. Again, to prime real estate, where do you put your e email capture form? Typically, top left corner. Okay, that's this. Now, the next up, let's go ahead. Now you know kind of sort of what a email capture form is. And after you do a little bit of research on your own, checking out some of those giveaways and whatnot to learn more about 